क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have studied the structure of the cellobios and now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of lactose so now let us understand how we can draw the structure of lactose in this topic so talking about lactose lactose is in fact and it is formed because of the combination of beta galactopyranose and beta glucopyranose and based on that let us understand that is how the structure is been formed so as i have said earlier only that is it is the combination of the beta galactopyranose and beta glucopyranose so now let us understand the structure of the beta galactose pyranose first so in this case where i am going to talk about the structure of beta galactopyranose so in this case basically this is nothing but the anomeric carbon atom and talking about the rest of the carbon atom so this is carbon atom number 1 2 3 4 5 let me give the numbering first so that we won't get confused so therefore this is carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 and this will be carbon number 6 which includes that is ch2oh so while drawing the structure of the beta glucopyranose we understand that is there is a presence of oh on the upper side so therefore this is nothing but the oh and h but here we are not drawing the structure of the beta glucopyranose in fact we are drawing the structure of beta galactopyranose so in that case the position of the hydrogen as well as the oh for the carbon number 2 it will be same as that of the beta glucopyranose talking about the third one it will also be the same but the difference is in beta glucopyranose we can find that is the oh is on the lower side for the fourth carbon atom but we are talking about the galactopyranose so in that case there will be oh on the upper side and h will be on the lower side while the rest of the thing it will be the same so therefore this is nothing but this is beta galactopyranose and that also we should understand that is this is beta d galactopyranose and suppose if beta d galactopyranose is combined with that of suppose if we are talking about beta d glucopyranose so in that case this is nothing but the first carbon atom where we could find that is the oh is over here the h is over here talking about the rest of the thing that is this is oh on the downward side here we see the oh is on the upper side h is here oh it will be downward h will be here and this is ch2 oh and h so here also let me give it the numbering for this one so that is this is carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so in that case basically we can find that is whenever this that is if i am talking about that is beta d glucopyranose is combined with this one so therefore we could find that is a beta glycosidic linkage where we could find that is this h it will take away this oh so as to form water and this is how basically the beta glycosidic linkage is been formed so therefore we could find that is the structure of lactose is in this way so this is what i'm going to talk about so this is the first carbon atom and to which because we understand that is there is a formation of a beta glycosidic linkage so therefore here there will be h so talking about the second carbon atom the second carbon atom will consist of h over here and oh on the downward side the third one it will consist of oh here there will be h here there will be h here there will be oh while here it will be ch2oh and here there will be h so just like the previous one that is what we have did we have flipped the structure of the beta d glucopyranose so here also we have to flip the structure and that is how basically we could get the structure as so this is what i am going to talk about so now here the carbon is basically carbon number 1 so therefore this is carbon number 1 2 3 4 4 and to which basically here there will be nothing but carbon number 5 and here there will be carbon number 6 so now let us understand that is there are the valencies that is what we have to satisfy so this will consist of that is ch2 oh over here and here there will be h while talking about this carbon number 1 where we have found that is suppose if this is nothing but a beta d glucopyranose so therefore so here basically there would be oh which is nearer to this oxygen atom over here so therefore here there will be h 
So talking about the second carbon atom, we can find that is the hydrogen, it will be inside. While talking about the OH, it will be outside. So talking about the third carbon atom, the third carbon atom consists of the hydrogen that will be outside and, and here there will be OH which will be inside. And talking about the fourth carbon atom, this is the hydrogen atom and to which basically the oxygen bond is attached to. And this is basically known as glycosidic linkage. So in this case also we have got to know that is to the fourth carbon atom that is for this beta glucopyranose, we can see that is a group that is beta galactopyranosyl group is attached to this oxygen atom of the beta glucopyranose. So that's the reason that the name of this one could be also given as we could write it here as 4O, this is known as galactopyranosyl. So therefore I would write it over here as beta D galacto pyranosyl and which is attached to that is we could say for beta D gluco pyranose which is nothing but the structure of lactose which has basically a beta enamel. And that's it. So therefore, this is nothing but the structure of lactose and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood the structure of the lactose and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.